Mythprod was borrowing his viewers' in-game money to gamble. If he won, he would give the winnings back to the viewers and his subscribers. After accumulating a large sum of money borrowed, he logged himself out, had his friend change his password, and then pretended to get hacked. So I don't really, I don't really understand. It isn't logged in. I'm still there. Right. Oh, hold on then. I was trolling, you're not locked in. Sorry, I made that up. Well, that's hilarious. I could appear offline. Alright, well, let's try this again. Oh, your thing just, it's, it just said you've logged, you've logged in. It's, what the, no, I changed my pass earlier. How would they get it that quick? I'll try to PM you and see if you can answer. You got kidding. Now it says I'm already logged in. Alright, your face shows you're lying. Give up, you pathetic loser. What the f Like... Myth Pot Strike Scan. Like... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Myth Pot Strike Scan, yeah, obviously. Yeah, and before Reddit, as if this is my fault. What'd you say? Alright, ah, well, like, what am I, what, what am I supposed to do if it's logged in, dude? Have a void helm, fire cape, and that's it. Alright, I mean, well, considering I was there for a minute, nobody come trade me, so I was like, alright, well, I'm gonna come back. The chat wasn't very convinced by this, so Mythprod accidentally showed his TeamSpeak messages to a thousand people, and his conversations went something like this. This is my password, hurry, don't respond to me when you're on my account, go on my account, FFS, he's getting a little bit frustrated here, and uh, trade all of my items off my account. He accidentally self-exposed himself scamming his own Twitch subscribers money to over 1,000 people, earning himself maybe a couple of hundred dollars worth of in-game gold and a permanent ban on Twitch. Fox was explaining to her chat how she feels about the current state of Twitch. Basically when people look up Twitch who haven't heard of it before, they click on the IRL section and they see a lot of girls in suggestive clothing. It makes it kind of embarrassing for her, so she called out one person in particular. When I have to explain what Twitch is to people in real life, they tend to kind of be like, wait, what? Like, that sounds really weird. And when people go on Twitch to see what it is after I tell them about it, and on the top of the IRL section, you see Amaran, that's hella embarrassing. That is extremely embarrassing and kind of feels degrading. Now she was already banned before for self-harm, and I'll roll that clip real quick. All right, so gotta do this. And if there's anything you want me to do uh, for your $50, just let me know. And I will try. Um, dab, slap, and snap. Okay. Dab, slap, and snap. There we go. I did it. I did it. I hope that was satisfactory. That hurt, like, but thank you. <laughs> so after this uh, self-harm episode, Twitch had enough of her and decided that permanently banning her from the website was probably the best thing to do. This caused a lot of controversy. The self-harm thing to begin with was sort of questionable. There's a lot of things to compare it to that are a lot worse than that. But eventually she was unbanned from Twitch. To, to prepare for it, I'm going to increase the levels of acid in my stomach. Oh, nah. All right, that'll help me. Uh, that'll help me cook it down a little bit. That'll help me uh, break the food down. I saw it on YouTube. I saw it on YouTube, uh, like to help you eat. What can get me banned? Okay, so Twitch saw this and they freaked out. Actually, like everyone in the chat freaked out because you just watched them scold an entire bottle of Windex 
or did he? I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Yeah, come on, guys, guys, come on. I'm playing. It was. It was. Uh, it was Gatorade. It was. <laughs> It was Gatorade. I'm playing, I'm playing. I it was actually just Gatorade inside of a Windex bottle, but she was still permanently banned him for this, only later on deciding that permanently banning somebody for drinking Gatorade isn't very fair, and later on they unbanned him making him the first ever Twitch streamer to be permanently banned for drinking Gatorade. Twitch streamer Zillion OP is wheelchair bound and saving donations for general cost of his condition and living, raising around $20,000 in donations at the time from a lot of generous people who felt sorry for him and just wanted to help him out. Get on your mouth and follow me. Maybe I don't want to follow you. Only he has perfectly functioning legs, has no medical condition, and doesn't require a wheelchair. His girlfriend who was taking half of the donations was in on this too and they happily deceived and scammed thousands of people for their money. One stream Zillion forgot that he was wheelchair bound and happily got out and walked out of his chair only for his girlfriend to freak out. When it's easily out geared. Our dog, our dog, oh my god, we took our dog um, like to the fish shop today because the dog loves just like going out and meeting new people and we constantly have to take him to like be introduced to a new like random cat on my lap and I was like oh this is so cute like he's cuddling with me because he's scared he stands up he took a leak on my lap when Zillian got back he quickly turned off the stream and later on tweeted that he fell out of his chair not that he didn't stand up and walk away I I'm not joking he actually claimed that that's what happened he, he fell out of his chair <laughs> Soda Poppin was opening his mail from his PO box and one of them was from a young kid called Captain Morgan 56 He wrote a long note to Soda and Soda could tell that he was young because of the handwriting and the spelling. Twitch found his channel and spammed it in the chat. After Soda Poppin watched his VODs, he decided to follow him. The kid saw the follow notification from Soda and went mental. He instantly went live and Soda helped him reach a few thousand followers and viewers. Screen. <laughs> new Soda? I'm not New Soda. I... I... I don't think at least, but I don't think I'll ever be as popular as Soda. Is his mic on push to talk on his stream? Hide his chat. Oh, yeah, some right. People say my name in chat. I, it's just going too fast. I cannot see. <laughs> this kiss kid, dude. His mic's on push to talk on his stream. That's so awesome. What a champ. He's overwhelmed. Look at him on his DK. Go to your rated tab. What's your rating, dog? Oh, Soda's watching my stream. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm just looking on here to. Oh, thank you so much, Soda. And all you'll hear this. Yeah, I'm not hearing the audio, but I was declined. I'm both allergies, but I will play. That's After streaming for some time and the Twitch chat had claimed that he's the new Soda, he accidentally said his real age, which was 11. Twitch doesn't allow anyone under the age of 13 to stream, resulting in him being permanently banned. No Sleep TV, also known as Abusive Pillow or Tip, is always up to some sort of mischief. He always manages to find himself in the middle of some drama or trouble with Twitch or even the law enforcement. After a handful of bans already on Twitch, he has finally been permanently banned from the website. Effective immediately. A series of events that caused this to occur. On December 2nd's broadcast, you were browsing other channels slash profiles with the intent to harass female broadcasters. Someone in your channel explained to you how the rating feature worked. In the end, you made some remarks and decided to not use the feature. You then stated that you'd select your candidates based by how hot they were. Your chat already had a lot of people in that that were writing hateful things. So of course, as you browse and selected who you wanted to raid, they went into these channels and started typing the same hateful comments. At one point, Kaixne's boyfriend made fun of her and she hit him in retaliation. Now Twitch doesn't allow violence on streams, which resulted in a pretty swift ban for her. <laughs> This goes out to all the, the different streamers that don't go to the norm. You don't stream to the normal. There's not many of us left. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I think I might be the only tryhard streamer left at this point.
Stream Elements is a must-have to stream at the highest quality and it's absolutely free. Stream Elements has the most advanced features such as overlay managers, chatbot, tipping, loyalty rewards for your viewers, stream reports and so much more. Keep up with what everyone else is using and visit Stream Elements today for the best live stream tools available.